Hi, my name is John Montgomery and I'm the Inspector for Creative Arts here at NESA. As you know, this year we are facing an unprecedented situation and NESA is working to ensure the health and safety of HSC students as you learn and prepare for your exams. All HSC exams that require you to work with a partner in a group or with an ensemble have been cancelled or changed for 2020 in line with the Australian Health Protection Principal Committee's advice to schools. These arrangements are in place for this year only, and they won't be lifted even if social distancing requirements are relaxed later on. So for this year, in music, you can either perform solo or with one other musician and page turners can't be used. If you were planning to perform with more than one other musician, you will need to modify your piece. You can perform your piece as a solo, Usually you can only perform a solo if the piece was written to be performed that way, but Nessa has lifted that requirement for this year. Or you can arrange it to be played with just one other musician, or you can use a backing track. Your backing track can't double your part, but for this year, it can include a click track if you would find that helpful. And as has been permitted in the past, a single featured musician such as a vocalist can also perform live with you and your backing track. For Music One students, if your ensemble piece was linked to the topic Small Ensemble and you are now playing it as a solo performance, then that will be fine. And if you're doing Music Extension, your mandatory ensemble exam has been cancelled. The exam will now consist of your two contrasting solo performances. There is a maximum time limit that's new this year because of the reduced size of that exam to 15 minutes. Your school may allow ensemble performances in a showcase performance event or for assessment tasks. And this is up to your school, but this doesn't affect the HSC exam. And let me just take this opportunity to wish you all the very best for this year's exams.